I mean, a little bumblebee that wouldn't get out of my truck. Had a catcher. Welcome to the 628 Dirt Rooster channel, where hobby beekeeping is a way of life. What's up with y'all today? I'm on my way to a hive removal. It's in a mobile home. It's been vacant for quite some time. Somebody just bought it and flipped it. New owner's trying to get some stuff done on it. They just got the power turned on on the place. So I'm about to go remove a hive. It's on an interior wall between a bedroom and a rear entry hallway. It's starting to rain a little bit, but that ain't gonna slow me up none. It is hot. I don't think the air conditioner works in that place. I got a fan and I also kind of built up my salt in my system. In, pre in preparation for sweating it out because I had some fried spam. Ain't nothing better for building your salt up than some fried spam. <laughs> I'm in good shape. Ready to go do this cutout. It ought to be a good one. It looks like it was pretty big according to what the flare was showing me. All right, y'all, we're in now. I'm half set up. I'll show you the outside in just a little bit. I think you might be able to see out here. This property runs way downhill. I think there's some good wetland over there. This is where I'm going in. This hallway wall here. We got a master bedroom right here. This is where the heat's showing up. This is where I thought they might be because I was texting back and forth trying to figure out where they were. I thought they were going to be in that. At some point, long ago, they had a swarm come in. Or maybe just bees getting, getting in a few at a time. But more than likely a swarm got in here a part of it. Got a little meal, dude. Place, like I say, been vacant for... How long has this place been vacant? Probably a couple of years. A couple of years. So nobody really knows how long these have been here. But the heat signature, you can see where I tore the paper off. Heat signature is about there to the corner and I'm about four foot down. Just gonna open it up. Y'all ready to see? Let's start at, start at the bottom corner. This little 3 8 sheet rock, ain't no way we're gonna save this stuff. But you can feel where they, if they got it soft right up in here. So I'm anticipating this stuff breaking out on me. It's already tearing right here. Try to save it when I can, but sometimes you just can't. There comes our first bee out. Yep. Not real happy. Uh -uh. <laughs> she don't want me jamming on that wall like that. There's the bottom of the colony right there. Stick your camera up in there. Little hiding in here to record. Look at that. Good God. Is it going to be a big one? Yeah, it's going to be a big one. It is. Yeah. I brought me a plastic, a big old plastic. I bought the biggest plastic container Dollar General had. <laughs> Yeah, this wall, this must be some kind of a marriage wall. This is a marriage wall, okay. I was wondering why there was gaps in the frame in here. This is a double wide mobile home. This is a marriage wall. It doesn't have straight uh, closed up framing in it. So you got gaps for them to run. So we, we're going to cut to the top up there where I peel that back. We may end up having to open a little further though. I think they're going to be built on the back of part of it. You think you what? I think they're going to be built on the back of part of it. Uh-huh. So what do you do? Just reach in there and grab it? Some of it. Oh, that bread knife there? Yeah. I do a lot of cutting with that. But the pulling the combs out, you actually have to reach in and grab it.
moving slow though. Yeah, they're on the stud too. This one piece stud in sheet rock. Solid honey, just a big old brick of honey. Nice stuff. All right, y'all, we're fishing to go in with a drywall knife, drywall saw, keyhole saw. And uh, for a couple reasons. One is I want to get a good picture for the thumbnail because I think it's going to be a good size hive. And the other is if I don't remove this drywall, but they're all built up against, I'm working blind. So I'd rather be able to see what I'm doing. Better chance of catching the queen. Easier to take honey loaded combs out that way. The trouble is where they're built onto the drywall all up in here. So I have to take that out carefully. So I'm not knocking combs down the wall. Here we go. They're being a little tough to deal with. Some of it's the weather and some of it's just me cutting into the hive. Probably taking 10 stings by now, I guess. Most of them in the hand and the arm. Ain't no big deal. Keep on working through it. I'm trying to get the numbers down so I can run a knife up in there without really setting them off because I want to run a knife on the back side of that drywall and cut all these combs loose as I go. Just got to move real slow and deliberate. I can, I can feel right there there's an attachment there, but I'm not that high up yet. So try not to get real jerky like that. It gets done. Yeah, they ain't, they ain't playing nice. I don't like to use smoke inside, but I might have to end up doing it here. I'm gonna back a little bit more, see if I can't get the numbers down a little more before I introduce smoke into the house. Backing for a little bit. I'm not really cutting the numbers that much. You can see it's a big hive. It's a six inch wall. And they're filling every bit of it. About to have to go light my smoker up. I had to hood up, but I'm probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 stings by now. Enough to it ain't gonna be pretty time I'm done because I'm I'm just just now getting into them. Right, ah. Caught my elbow on the storm door. Step out here and show you real quick. I told you it was wetland. <laughs> There's a creek runs all through the backyard here. I know you probably can't tell that on video, but that's what that is. A little fence right there. I guess keeping the dogs out of the mud. I guess this must have been a bank owned property or something. Not sure. But for some reason, it's been vacant for two years. A uh, guy that's with me is part of, an, part of an investment group that bought it, and they just flipped it. Somebody just put a down payment on it. Um, and I saw him earlier. I didn't meet him, but he was leaving as I got here. But he bought him a giant beehive on some wetland. Actually, the property is not wetland. The property is pretty high and dry. It's just got that creek in the back of it. So I got the smoker going. Got it sitting inside. He's not moved in yet. I mean, he just bought the place today as far as I know, so there's nothing in here. Probably not gonna be anything in here for a little bit. 
It's a little bit of smell of smoke through the house. That'll go away quick enough. And they kind of, in the time that it took me to go light the smoker, they kind of calmed down a little bit. It started thundering while I was outside, so I don't know if that had anything to do with it. It's been overcast, looking like it was going to rain, and they've been real irritable. And I come back in here, and they're kind of calmed down a little bit. I'm not, I'm not going to try them again. I'm, I'm going to put a hood on and smoke them. I can see now why they weren't giving up without a fight. All these lower cones are brood cones. Every time I'd back off of it, they'd be they'd be right back on it. Still working up to get that sheetrock open. Can y'all see that? I thought this was going to be a brood loaded hive with a little bit of honey around it. Looks like it's going to be a big old honey hole, not fishing related. It does have a good amount of brood in it, but look at all that honey. I'm going to have to really mask this off so I'm not running honey down this wall. That's the last thing I want to do is make a giant mess for roaches and everything to come in. The time this guy moves in, he'll have an ant roach infestation like he never seen. <laughs> I gotta keep that from happening, so I'll mask off the inside of this wall. That way I'm catching everything. But first, let's I forgot I had a <laughs> I don't ever wear these mosquito nets and I forgot I had it on. I was just eating right through it. Man, that's good. Before I show y'all this thing that's opened up now, I wanna I think y'all met him before. Jason Cummins. No, the superstar bee removal. Not a superstar, oh. Randy. Oh yeah, oh, superstar no. bee removal guy, jam up guy, knows his stuff. Also, um, built and runs the 628 Dirt Rooster website. <laughs> this is the <a> guy. <laughs> oh, it's where hobby beekeeping is a way of life. I, I, that can't be said enough. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Check this out. <laughs> Dude. Oh, that's nice. It is nice, isn't it? And that, what you're seeing is probably about 70% of it, I think. Because it goes that way and it goes that way. Yeah. Like I say, this is a marriage wall of a mobile home. So you can see how the studs don't really line up to block off stud cavities. So it continues on in either direction. There you go. There's a, there's a good sideways view of it. But yeah, they are not playing nice at all. My fingers are getting a little stiff. I'm not going to glove up though. I've decided to use the smoker and that's really knocking them, knocking the fight out of them for where I'm working. I'm just, I'm only, I'm not smoking heavy because I'm inside, but just smoking the areas where I am working, not the whole hive. Kind of getting them off what I'm handling. And you can see, you can see honey running where I've broken seals pulling that sheetrock off i'm gonna give them time to clean all that up the less drippage i gotta deal with the better and i'm already gonna have to put some more plastic out because i don't want it running down the wall like i said got a little bit of build up here on the light fixture on the sun rather <laughs> <laughs> synthetic sun <laughs> synthetic sun I've been vacuuming for a while, went outside to give them a break. I've cut a little bit of the honey out. This was a loaded hive. Tell you what, they were doing real good. They were, they were doing perfect unmanned. 
I don't see any varroa. I see a few small hive beetles. You might see them. There you go. Falling out. Getting, well, the bees are pushing them out, but there's enough bees in here. Small hive beetles wasn't doing any damage. Really, really strong hive. Still looking for the queen, though. I imagine I'll find her when I get into these brood combs. I'm trying to take some of this big honeycomb out of the way first. And I, I really... Although I want the numbers reduced, you can see on the bottom of that comb right there. When I cut these honeycombs, I don't want it dripping down the wall a lot. So I like having a lot of bees on there because as soon as I cut that, they get to work on start trying to fix it. And they clean up a lot of that that's dripping. Big old slab of honey. And just more honey following that, and it wraps around that stud. Goes back in the wall. I may have to open up this next stud cavity. We got brood combs. Big time. There's another layer down. And it still goes back this way. Starting to run a little bit. Number of bees are down so they're not cleaning up as fast as I'd like. Is there a bee on my head? <laughs> That's it. Aside from backing up a couple bees and scraping out a little bit of tiny pieces of comb. It's all out. It did wrap around the back of this wall but I was able to do a blind work removal just feeling reach around the back of that stud with that bread knife cut it off the stud this stud and the next stud over and was able to pull it out cleanly this side over here uh, <laughs> there's there's the remains of a yellow jacket nest that was up in there it was about an eight inch tall yellow jacket nest that I cut it fell in the bottom of the wall which is fine because it didn't have anything in it it was dry but they had built the hive onto the yellow jacket nest I can see pieces of it on the outside so it had to have been a decent size at one time I better check their entrance make sure I don't leave a cluster of bees hanging somewhere nope they're going in between the J channel right here there's the leftovers from that yellow jacket nest That's it, I'm out.